what it is, what it is. We're back at it again, but here we have to talk about something bizarre that happened to us. Very bizarre. I never ever in my life would imagine seeing this while the store was open. When I first seen the car run through the glass, my I reacted insanely like what? First of all, I didn't, I didn't understand because I had another store. Um, it was a guy that tried to sell sneakers to our clothing store, but we directed him to our um, sneaker store, which was closing early because of, uh, you know, what's going on in LA. So we closed early, he came up to the shop, he wanted to sell a sneaker, we, we respectfully passed, and then um, he like got a, like, you know, ecstatic and mad, so we respectfully passed him to come back tomorrow. There was a guy with no sneakers on. He didn't have no sneakers on. We're not judging anything, but he walked up with us barefoot, tried to sell the sneakers. He said no. He got in his car, he backed up. He backed up, we seen his headlights flashing at us. He crashed straight through. I was in, I was like, what? Once, once Ryan called me at the cool, um, I told everybody, um, at all the staff at the cool was like, what happened, what he said? No one believed it, it made no sense. So I ran down there, rushed down there, and I actually seen the car coming this way because the guy fleed, and I didn't pay no mind because it was already a car that was wrecked. Um, but I just like, all right, I'm, just, I'm in a rush driving to the store, which is like four blocks down the street. Um, got to the store. I see the glass shatter. I see people outside yelling. Ryan was like, uh, you know, he told people to go to the back. Alex, the security guard, told people to go to the back because there were people inside the store at the time. The, the store was not closed. So this is the this is the sickest part. It's like uh, the store people were inside the store, so anyone could have got hurt. But we are thanking God that no one got hurt. Only the glass broke, which is okay. No no big structure decision to the to the store. So it's just we just reacted like like anyone would. If you've seen a car drive through the front of the store while the people are inside, mind blown, so. For the landlord and contractors. That's cool, I came in like 10 minutes after. And I seen the car driving. When I came, when I came down, I seen the car with a dent in the side. I didn't know, I didn't put the two and two together. And I, I just drove past it, then he showed me a video, I seen that car. It's a blue car. It, it gotta be that dude. And I think it's that dude? Yeah, he, he does. told him to come down here, and then, and then he came down here, and they said that when he came down here, he said, I know why. I'm like, he's like, yo, why y'all fooling? Why y'all fooling? They said it's him. They said he was said that though. That's what you said. You said it was that nigga who was complaining and shit, but they don't know. But if you, I don't think it's a homeless thing. I don't know why people think he's homeless. He said he, he had no on. shoes on. Yeah, he had shoes on his head. That's why they think he's homeless. He stole the car. I had to steal the car. Bro, I didn't believe it, to be honest with you. So if, if anybody was to tell you somebody drove a car into the front of a store, you wouldn't believe it either, to be honest. So. No. But you know, um, we've been through this plenty of times. You know, we had a lot of unfortunate incidents with our time being open, but all blessings. You know, it's, it's, you know, speed bumps in the road regardless. It's gonna happen. You gotta keep strong, you know, we got a big team, big good support system. We really work hard. We have a lot of fun, y'all see the fun, but we really work hard, so we know we're prepared for things like that. If it does happen, but that is bizarre. Still unbelievable, but we're gonna get over it because you know why, we got you. Exactly. We got the biggest support system that we can have, and we're grateful for all of you guys. Thanks for it. If you're a subscriber, if you're not a subscriber, you've been to the store, you haven't, we appreciate all the good energy. We got you. Much love. Wait. They say your biggest blessings come from trials and tribulations. So, more blessings for the cool. My, my whole question is just like, why, why was everybody already facing that way like it was gonna happen already? I don't know. I'm just glad that they stopped. I'm glad he just only went through the front and stopped because he could have just kept going yeah, through the freaking store, Thanks bro. Thanks for parking meters. LA um, traffic control or whoever's in control of that. LA parking people. I don't know. Like everything else that's happened before that's been weird to us, we just keep moving forward. Um, just another building experience and another uh, lesson learned, I guess, in a weird way. But I don't know. We take everything with a grain of salt, I guess. Yeah. Life. Yeah. Facts. What can you do? Bounce back. That's For what you can do. That's what we want. I want to say this, man. The fact that I never knew that people was putting money out there and then. So all those who see this, and if you were there, you were out there and you were watching this, and you were there with the money saying, yo, I got a thousand, that's sad, man. First of all, the dude driving through the store, I lost all hope for humanity after I saw that because that's the scariest thing. I couldn't imagine what people were going through when they're in the store, and I seen a car coming through them when you were in the Cool Kicks trying to have the ultimate experience. Yeah. Two, the people who were out there saying, I got a thousand, I got 500, I got a thousand, that's sad. Basically saying that, you, you, I got a thousand for this dude to come through and wreck through and, and potentially hit one of the customers. 
that whole thing was crazy, boo. Yeah, it's crazy, man. Wow, man. It yeah. really changed my whole mind on everything, on how people act and, you know, with 2020 going on, how humans have been acting. After seeing that, that was end all, end all. The yeah. fact that you could sit there and you have the audacity to put a car through a storm zoom. Zoom, it was a commercial. Zoom, zoom. In the mm -hmm. event, if there was no post move, if there was no post right there, he would have had full speed. I'd say he would have got, got some. He would have got some. He would have left off fours. So. Yeah. I just knew automatically knew it. Hey, real quick, move. why you got two phones, bro? <laughs> no matter what, no matter what happens, keep your blend. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Kicking with the Cool. We got a whole new collection. I have no clue what's in here, but we all gonna dig through it at the same time. Let's go. Everybody complaining about we don't have big size, size 13 right here. Let's go back here, we're not even done. We got about 40, 50 boxes we have to open. Where y'all wanna start? You wanna start right here? Yeah. Let's go. Sheesh. I think we got some fire. Okay. Starting off with some fours. Size 13 again, all big sizes. The Baron, size 13 again. This looks like the whole 13 collection. So everybody who complains that we don't have big sizes, we up. What's going on, man? So what look, doing there, bro? we brought Kenny back here with us. You know, he wears size 13, and he digging deep in these boxes. Look what I found, rare. Size 13, top three. What you gonna do, Kenny? Hey, Roger, did you know this is my favorite Jordan of all time? What, flu games? What's yeah. the story behind it? So, Michael Jordan supposedly had the flu and he overcame sickness. all obstacles. So, what did he do? He, uh, he had a good. What, what I think, do? what, he dropped like 30 something in game six? Yeah, something, something like that. Like that. Yeah. But so, technically, uh, it was food poisoning. Yeah, because yeah, we watched, um, what's the joint on ESPN? Last Dance. Yeah, Last, Last Dance. Dance. They tried to say he, it, wasn't, it wasn't no sickness. Food poisoning. Say yeah. he ate some pepperoni pizza the day before or some shit. <laughs> Somebody like set him up. <laughs> But yeah, food games. Bread boy. Good shoe, bro. Really good shoe. That's how you know what these are. Yeah. Uh, those are fours, right? Red fours? Good job. Santi been acting different lately. I forgot to tell you guys. Oh, 2012 pair. Wow. No wonder, okay, wow. no wonder the suede was different. Any referee that watches wow. our YouTube, these some <laughs> referee shoes. <laughs> High school referee. Uh, you never know what to expect inside these boxes. We got another one. We got right now. I'm gonna put it on the floor. And so look. Oh, ho, ho, nah. Oh, nah, 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 nah. Hold on, there's heat in here. Wow. Yo, shout out to this size 13 dude. Whoever. Oh, great, man. Hey. What? That's legendary, Yo, bro. These are legendary shoes in. Yeah, I'm serious, bro. All size 13. Uh, quick story about these joints. These were actually probably the first Jordans I remember I ever I was ever buying at Tyson's Corner. He knows where that is. Right Release date. Full games. Game five. And he had oh, 38 points. 30 I was close though. I was close. I already know my shit a little bit though. Hey, wow. very little bit. Obsidians. Wow. Not, not indigo. Not, not indigo. Obsidians, boy. Who the hell is he? Yeah. I guarantee you Kenny will walk out of here with a oh, new shoe today. Nah. Fresh blue 12. <laughs> <laughs> Done, done. Nah, I'm done, I'm done. Roger, I'm done. I'm good. Wow. Damn, I may have to just go on my... I need all three of these. Three of these joints. I need this, that, and flu game. <laughs> nah. You about to take everything. We ain't even... We ain't even take everything. Wow. All right, let's rock. Let's call, let's call BK, bro. Let's see, let's see if he can work something out for you. <laughs> you want those? Nah, I'm going to have to go. I'm going to have to go attack. Better catch. What up, bro? So we're unboxing all these shoes, and my man Kenny, he wears size 13. He got a couple questions to ask. Hey, what's up, man? What you doing on these, bro? Uh, why y'all jumping the gun ones? I need these, man. It's on the collector's list. Kenny's a hard worker, bro. Uh, um, check this out. You can make a jump shot from a least 25 feet out, Mr. LeBron fan. Um, I'll give you those shoes. Let's get it. That's a bet. That's a bet. That's Let's get it. That's bad. Hey, I like that. Let's hit it. Let's go. It's nothing, bro. Let's get this. That's easy money. I'll get it right now. 
I'm gonna wear them today too. Bet. Pull up. Let him make the practice shot. Like. All right. There you go. Go ahead. Oh, BK right there. That's Yo, money. BK. That's money. That's money. My man Kenny over here practicing. You said you get one shot. What's up, man? <laughs> yeah, what's up, man? <laughs> hey, what's up, what's man? Up? Yo, it's me. We're waiting on you. Your man practicing over here. He only get one shot, though. Right, let's go. All right, here we go. Come on, man. So, look. Let me make sure there's no lane violation, no hey, nothing. Can you fit a 30? We got crowd noise here. That's a bucket, baby. Nah. BK? Wait. Nah, BK. <laughs> One shot. I, ju I just walk in and I made a bet with Kenny. And then I think he took some practice shots. But I'm going to believe these guys. So I'm going to bless Kenny. Hey, Kraken, bro. It's all good. Hey, congratulations, man. I didn't, I've been waiting for these joints, man. Nah, actually, let's do a swap out real quick. Wait. I think I see the size 13 in one of these. these <laughs> What's up, BK? Hey, how, hey, how friendly, Kenny, how generous are you feeling? Kenny, if I make this, Hey, listen. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna tell you guys one thing. You gotta ask me stuff closer to Sunday. You ain't blessed yet. <laughs> <laughs> hey, so I can't swap out? Just keep? Ah, uh, that's cool. Hey, I appreciate it, man, bro. Hey, good luck. Hey, you gotta hit a, uh, you gotta hit a, a jump shot blindfolded uh, backwards. What, press the union? Press the union. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, so like once again, BK said, man, I'll get a pair of unions if I hit a backwards shot. I think I'm gonna go with these size 13 the Union Fours. That's dope. BK, I want to shout out to you for being a man of your word. I'm out. Thanks for kicking it with the cool.